Uh, Sabrina Teeter is a master's student in psychology, and she'll be talking with us today about the moderating effect of anti-gay humor on the existence of the rebound effect. Sabrina. Okay. Well, I would like to begin with a very brief exercise. I would like everyone in this room to attempt to not think about a white bear. Okay, so how many of you actually thought of a white bear? It was one of the first things that popped into your head. Okay, now you might forget about this white bear for the time being, but since I've explicitly asked you not to think about it, it will most likely reappear in your mind at a later time. Suppressing thoughts can cause them to rebound back into the mind at a later time. This is known as the rebound effect. Um, now you might find yourself asking, well, why is this rebound effect of any importance to me? <laughs> Frankly, white bears are of no consequence to my everyday life. Well, the rebound effect can impact um, really any thought, not just thoughts about white bears. For example, what if you were in a group of people and you were worried about saying something prejudiced? You would most likely be thinking, no matter what, don't say anything prejudiced. This fixation with not saying anything prejudiced will actually cause the thought to become more accessible in your mind at a later time. So, I was interested in two things. First, it seems to make a lot of sense that making a very conscious, active effort to suppress prejudice would have a beneficial outcome. However, I wanted to demonstrate that this can actually do more harm than good. Attempting to push prejudice thoughts out of our mind can cause them to return with a vengeance and cause us to view others through a more prejudiced lens than we would have initially. In one study, participants experienced greater expression of prejudice after first suppressing their prejudice essentially a boomerang effect. They attempt to throw the thought out and it circles back around and comes right back into their mind. The second thing I was interested in examining was the notion that anti-gay humor can essentially alleviate this initial need to suppress prejudice. Exposure to, anti er, to humor that disparages others can create a new norm or innate this rebound effect that results from initial suppression of prejudice. For groups like women and gays who are still attempting to gain equal footing, Understanding the consequences of thought suppression and also what may seem like benign amusement will go far in rectifying the imbalance that still seems to exist today. Thank you.